Hi everyone, welcome back. So I'm gonna be filming a get to know me tag, which is a little bit funny because I've been around on YouTube now for, I don't know, two years or something like that. So the bulk of you know me quite well or whatever you see through my videos that is but I'm getting new subscribers all the time so I thought I would just do a get to know me tag fill in some of the blanks about myself and some of this will be new information some of it probably won't be but you'll definitely know a little bit more about me by the end of this if you are new to my channel hello my name is Shell which is short for Rochelle and this channel is called make up your mind which is also the name of my blog and I originally called it Make Up Your Mind because I couldn't decide on a name for the blog. So I was talking to myself out loud saying, oh, Shell, just make up your mind. And then I was like, that's it. That's what we're going with. So with that introduction out of the way, let's get straight into the tag. I'm just going to go rapid fire through these questions without much preamble, I don't think. So uh, first question, what is your middle name? My middle name is Laura. What is your favorite color? Traditionally green. Yeah, I'll go with green. Who was your first best friend? This one's kind of hard to answer. I'm 35 years old. I don't know who my first best friend was 30 years ago because they must not have been a long-term best friend because they didn't stay that way throughout uh, like middle school and high school. So I, I really don't know. How tall are you? I'm 5'3 or 160 centimeters tall. Cats or dogs? <laughs> Without question, cats. I do not like dogs. I find them quite repulsive actually, so cats, hands down. <laughs> Funniest moment throughout school? Uh, I haven't gone to school in quite a long time. I graduated university when I was, I don't know, 22, 23, so it's been a while. I, I don't really remember what was hilarious at that moment in my life. How many countries have you visited? Uh, quite a few. So I live in Canada, so I visited the US, Iceland, England, Scotland, Northern Ireland, Ireland, France, Switzerland, um, the Czech Republic, Austria, Indonesia, Australia, uh, and China just passing through. I think that's all of them. I'm not sure, but I think so. Are you in or have you gone to college? So in Canada, college is not the same thing as university. University is more like, I think they call it like higher learning, more like theoretical type stuff. It's not trade based, which is tends to be college stuff here. So college is more like specific skills for a particular job. University is more like open ended. And I have gone to and completed university, but I've never gone to college. What was your favorite and worst subject in high school? My favorite was probably gym, just because I've been an athlete my entire life, so I can play pretty much any sport they throw at me. So I really enjoyed, enjoyed gym because it was very easy. Math was definitely my worst subject. In uh, grade 12, I think at the end of the year, I had like a 49%. And I think the teacher just bumped me up to 50 so that they could pass me and get me out of the class because I wasn't stupid. I was in the advanced math curriculum but uh, I just did not have the brain for it. But for my next year in grade 13, which we did have back in that day, it was called OAC, I decided to repeat grade 12 math, but this time I went for the general stream as opposed to the advanced stream, and I walked out with a 99% at the end of the year, which is not due to me learning the math suddenly so much better. It's just because the difference between advanced and general was so significant they were doing math that I had done back in middle school. It was quite an eye-opening experience, but I mean, I ended up with a 99%, so it looked good on my transcripts. What is your favorite drink? Um, Non-alcoholic would be Nest tea. Um, the Nest tea you get in Canada, though, which is sweetened, not the iced tea that you would buy in the US. Uh, and alcoholic would probably be like a uh, white wine, a Pinot Grigio. What is your favorite animal? Uh, cats basically all of them, but if I had to pick other ones, I'd say like otters and raccoons. I really love otters and raccoons. What is your favorite perfume? Well, it used to be Michael Kors Island, but they don't make it anymore and you can't find it anywhere. So that will forever just be the memory of my favorite perfume. Now I tend to wear a bunch of different ones. I'm currently working through a bottle of Max Turquotic. Tea or coffee is the next question. Uh, coffee in the mornings, but tea after lunch. Uh, I would tend to opt for coffee if I had a choice between the two of them though. What sports do you play or have you played? Okay, 
play a lot. So I figure skate. I've recently taken it back up. I used to do it competitively when I was in my teens. I weight lift heavy weights, not just like little dumbbells, like those Olympic bars, like big weights. I also run long distance, anywhere from a five kilometer race up to a half marathon. I also play soccer all the time. Uh, well, only once a week now, but I have not stopped playing since I was eight years old. And I snowboard, ski, cross country ski. I've played ultimate frisbee before. I mean, okay, there's so many sports out there. I have a reasonable skill level at most of them just because I've always been into sports. Um, but figure skating, weightlifting, running, and soccer would be my current ones. What is your favorite book? Um, probably Dream Hunter by Elizabeth Knox. It's kind of a kid's story, but not really. Well, maybe it's like a teen story, but it doesn't feel like angsty or anything like that. It's just a really cool concept for a book, which I won't describe because I'll probably screw it up. But if you're interested in like magic, science fiction, it's a really good read. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? There's quite a few. Um, to name the bigger ones would be like Mikey of Glam and Gore and then Sharon Farrell, who used to be called Sharon the Makeup Artist, are probably my most watched bigger YouTubers. What is your favorite movie? Um, I used to say Boondock Saints and Sin City, but now I'm leaning towards Deadpool 2 just because I've seen it twice since it's been released in theaters and I'm seeing it again. So I really, really love that movie. But yeah, Boondock Saints is something I watch yearly and then Sin City, I just really like the art of how they took the comics into the movie. I think it's really, really well done. Are you single or taken? Well, I'm married, so therefore I'm taken. What's your idea of an ideal first date? I mean, I've been married like eight years, so first dates aren't really a thing anymore. Uh, what would be a good one though? Probably being able to sit down and talk to somebody, but also having something to do at the same time. So probably something like going to a concert because you can enjoy the atmosphere, like the music, hopefully, you both like the same music, but then you're able to talk about the concert afterwards, so something like that. How many girlfriends or boyfriends have you had? Okay, so I wasn't really planning on talking about this, but the question does make me want to point something out. I am bisexual, so I have dated men and women. Um, I have not had any regular girlfriends though, so I've only had boyfriends, and I, I don't know how many I've had, maybe, six or seven, something like that. Favorite memory from childhood? I, I struggle with this question because I don't really have a great actual memory of what happened when I was a kid. I have stories that people have told me and they've become my memories, but I don't think that they're actually memories. So I don't know, like there's one that everyone always tells about me as a kid where I just didn't like to follow rules and instead of eating the ice cream cone from the top, I'd take a bite out of the bottom, but then all the ice cream would like fall through and then I'd start crying. This is not, this is not a favorite memory. I don't know why I'm telling this story. So yeah, I, I don't have one. I don't know, I don't have a lot of memory retention from like younger than like 12 years old or something like that. I think maybe one of my best ones would have been in my teen years when I won my first figure skating competition. I was probably 13. I'm not really sure about that, but it's really a good memory because I won and got gold. And it was such a turnaround from the previous year when I'd come dead last. So that felt really, really good. So that's a good memory. <laughs> Do you speak any different languages and how well? Okay, so technically my first language is French and that was the only language I spoke up until, I don't know, maybe the age four or five and then I picked up English and that became my predominant language just because most people speak English in Canada. I grew up in Ottawa which is more bilingual so French was used quite a bit there because half of my family is French but now that we live in Toronto there's not a whole lot of people to speak French to so while I can understand it just fine, I could read it without issue, I really stumble when I have to say the words and I find it very embarrassing which is just because I used to have such a fantastic grasp of the language that now it's like I've let it go kind of thing. So I have a very, very good comprehension of it. I just sound a little bit silly when I speak it. Do you have any siblings? I have one brother and he's one year younger than me. 
How would you describe your fashion sense? Ugh, I don't really have a good fashion sense. I go from like wanting to wear a soccer jersey and shorts to wearing like a nicer dress because that's what's expected of me to wear at work just because I work in an office environment. I mean, nice pants and a shirt or a dress, that kind of thing. Um, and then some days I just want to look like punk rock or goth. So honestly, I'm really all over the board. I don't think I really have much fashion sense. I just tend to like things that are quite vibrant or colorful. <laughs> what is your favorite restaurant is the next question. And that is definitely Bishop and Belcher in Toronto. Um, it's not that far from where I live and it's just got the best fajitas that I have ever had. It's just a generic pub. There's no reason that these fajitas should be better than any other ones out there, especially considering they're not like a Tex-Mex place or even a Mexican place. Um, they just make the best fajitas ever. So whenever I go there, I know exactly what I'm ordering and I never stray from it because that is the best that I've ever tried. <laughs> what are some of your favorite TV shows? Oh, there's so many. I'm definitely more of a TV show person than a movie person, but some of my like legacy favorites are Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Dark Angel, um, Angel by Association with Buffy, uh, Veronica Mars was something I fell deeply in love with. More recently, I've really been loving Altered Carbon. I also watched Gilmore Girls more recently, and I didn't like it when I was younger, but I appreciated it a lot more now in my 30s. I thought it was really clever, and I identified a lot more with the mother. <laughs> I'm also currently watching The 100. I, I know I'm gonna look back on this footage and be like, you forgot to mention like 10 shows, but those are the ones that are coming to me right now. PC or Mac is the next question. <laughs> I'm definitely a PC person. I do not understand the Apple hype other than the fact that they make pretty looking products. They're also extraordinarily expensive. Like, I do not understand the price tag on some of their products. The only thing that I will say that Mac does better than PC are the trackpads on their laptops. Those are light years above and beyond any other brand on the market, but that's the only thing they've got going for them as far as I'm concerned. And the next question is, what phone do you have? iOS or Android? Android. This is just a Samsung Galaxy S6. I really do not care about having the latest technology on my phone, so uh, Android all the way because I, I don't see the point in spending $1,000 on a phone. And the last question is, tell us one of your bad habits. <laughs> not many things are really coming to mind, but I will say that I'm not an especially prompt person. I'm almost always three to five minutes late for everything. Um, I've tried to fix it before and I can get maybe about a week or two about showing up on time for things, but then I fall back into the habit of being about three to five minutes late. So I guess that's a bad habit because it's kind of annoying for other people, right? And that's it for the tag. That was a little bit different. You didn't hear anything really beauty related, um, but hopefully you found out something new about me. Thanks so much for watching today's video and I'll catch you next time. Bye.